Hey Scott. Hello, ambitiously wealthy. Sorry for randomly typing and being a few minutes late here. We're uh, implementing that review system and has some birthing pains. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We were financially winning, barely. We have bigger and better mechs doing bigger and better mech things. Welcome to the Gauss house, exactly. Um, all right. So we just got a new report. So presumably we just got new missions. Presumably we just ran a mission. Presumably we just looted something fucking sweet. What do we get, chat? What did we get? Some clan ferrofibrous signature dampener. The gyro XXL. I don't know if we had that already. I think we already had that already. Okay. Okay. I'm with you. I'm with me. I'm here. Ready to fucking go. Do we get any weapon systems? Oh, we got the tiny, tiny micro lasers. That's exciting. Just kidding. Not at all exciting. Uh, okay. Medium chem laser ammo waiting room. Yes, we made some slight mistakes were made about not taking that chem laser ammo. But I don't know what the hell to do about that, honestly. All right, uh, we have. All right, I wanted to. I wanted to do so many things, but so many things will not be done. I think we are solidly. On the repair the dervish plan. All right, how are our barracks? The barracks is healthy, yet tapped. Two days probably brings us back to a fair number of peoples. Yeah. yeah. Send you and Solo, you can tank them. Okay. I kind of want... Uh, Sec, just sec. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry, chat. I'm, I'm trying to uh, to tell you what's going on in the back background here. Like that, the uh, game selection system is like so close to being fucking extraordinary, but at the moment it's like we're just like two steps short. And we have first tryout day tomorrow, and I'm just trying to make sure this all gets this all happens for tomorrow. I yeah, basically I'm writing a novel at the moment. I've been writing a novel all morning, so yeah. Yeah. 
Well, it's it's a really cool it's a really cool system in theory. Like tomorrow, we're gonna do um, game day with uh, my wife, uh, in the second half of that. And it's gonna be our first tryout stream that we we're gonna do on channel, which is part of the game selection process that I've normally done on my own, but we're gonna be doing publicly tomorrow. And it should actually be a fairly good time of doing that. But then it's just like getting all of, that system is like ninety five percent ready to go. So I'm gonna do drunk AI dungeon, um, maybe. I also kind of want to do the goose game. But um, neither of those games are really games that are part of the normal game selection process. So that would just kind of be like silly games at the end of the night. So, right? Like, wouldn't that kind of be fun? I don't know. Like, I almost I almost don't even want to do a real tryout day. Because a real tryout day is going to be like me sitting down, getting really in-depth with like a super good strategy game that we're considering playing on the channel. My wife is not going to want no, my wife is going to want no part of that. It's going to be totally not in her. I mean, we could do tryout day all day tomorrow instead of half day and start the day with serious tryouts and then do tryouts with Frigg in the afternoon. Things like Goose Game, AI Dungeon, etc. That's probably the way to do that, isn't it? It'd almost be nice if we had this planned ahead of time. Kex is like, when are you going to announce which games for tomorrow? I'm like, when I fucking know, Kex. When I fucking know. And this isn't, this is not solely on me on this one. I mean, it's a little bit on, it's a little bit on me. It's my fucking channel. I do have ultimate responsibility for all things that occur on this channel. But basically, the system's really good. We could just use another week. New plan for the stream today. All right, Galvia, you go ahead. Battle take a small corner of the screen. Uh-huh. I'm reading. Seems like a good plan so far. Goose game the rest. Yeah, we need some way to input the output of the goose game into the Battletech mech selection screen. What we need to do is really talk to the rope tech writers of the, the, the mod and tell them, you know, it's all good and well that we have all these fancy mechs, all these different mech equipment. We need like goose holding a stick, opening a latch. I mean, what kind of mech can do that? If the answer is no mech, then what's the point of this mod? Really. Exactly. Goose Tech Mac Mods. Goose Tech. Yeah, I can see that being good. All right. Meanwhile, in the real fucking world, where the rest of us live, we're going to move this uh, forward a little bit. That's right. We need a button called the Honk Button. <laughs> Live in the Battletech world. It's Battletech world, dude. It's just how it. That's how it goes. You know, social change is coming, but it's not gonna get here today. All right, day three. House-sized Gauss almost back online. Day four. Huh. Look, we can't all be Canadians. Some of us have to get paid in real money. All right. <laughs> I think our barracks is ready to go. I'm feeling appropriately aggressive. I can either take it out on the enemy mechs or I can take it out on chat. I don't really, I don't really mind. Both are equally satisfying to me. Been gearing up for another D and D game. We have Kevin back on board, so we are setting up the time for a recurring D&D game with Dolphin, myself, Jorbs, and Kevin. Next character, real Canadian dollars. Uh, you just, you, you, you get the irony with doing that with fake channel money. But I will indeed do that, Galvia. I will indeed doing that. Okay, that's good, that's good. Okay. Paid in pancakes, these are informant points can't trust your uh, your twitch neighbor who can you trust and the answer is fucking nobody filthy teaching lessons all day long all right what are we doing for our levels here we have some barracks levels lock your doors that's all I'm saying one heart one mind looking good do we bring guts up to four for injury resist? Maybe. Do 
It's fucking Sifo Gaming with the random... I'm going to have to find 500k to unbreak this character. Annoying AI decisions. Okay. This is looking good. Alright. We need naming on this. Dolphin is the right level of serious and goofy to balance. Uh, we have a playthrough. We did a long playthrough. Jorbs, myself, Dolphin, and Kevin. Actually, uh, it's actually on YouTube. Um, Dolphin is a very silly guy. And so is Jorbs. And I just want to explore themes of pain and suffering. And they want to be silly. And Kevin has played a very good straight man. Although claims he's playing a pirate this time around. So I don't know what Kevin's pirate looks like. I'm excited to find out. Do we want... How many ace pilots? How many phantom mechs do we want? My YouTube, Gavin. Yeah. So I think it's the most recent full camp. I don't remember what the fucking season was. Chat, anyone remember what season it was? Yeah, it did eventually die out. We got. I think we chose a very poor uh, module for it in the end. So we got bogged down with a million fucking boring ass cultist fights. But we had a lot of fun with the actual playing. That is with an eye patch. I don't know. I really, I'm kind of curious to see. I haven't played enough D and D with Kevin to know. Is his next character going to be massively different than uh, his previous ones? I think yes. Kevin is a very good role player. Uh, who's going to be my DM or who was my DM? Our DM for that campaign was Adam. Um, we're in the process of vetting DMs right now, so we're going to go through a couple uh, one-offs to see. It's very hard to find a good DM. I think you would be an excellent DM, Xanabu, as a writer and a storyteller and someone who's been a large part of this channel for a while now. Yeah, I like D&D too, Galvia. Um, although I find the system, the mechanics of that system boring, so we're probably going to change to a different system. We're probably going to play either GURPS or... Kevin's been pushing GURPS or um, Savage World as a system. But we'll do that. We, we'll get the fit of the DM first, and then we'll worry about the system. So, uh, We're going to... I think I'm going to stream it, Neablis is the plan. Um, and the plan is it will be a non-chat interaction stream. Yep, one of the players is uh, one of the GMs that we're looking at working with right now wants to do it in Pathfinder. So we're gonna let basically we're gonna let the GM the DMs suggest whatever fucking system they want for the vetting process, and then if uh, from there we'll go with pushing a system afterwards if we get fit. Um, but the plan will be to stream it probably because I think it's gonna be I think at the moment it's looking to be a Wednesday, so we'll probably stream it. We'll get uploaded to YouTube anyways. Um, but it would probably be live streamed, although with no chat interaction during the game, because it's impossible to have both. But we'll see. We'll see. No promises yet on that. That's still, this is another work in progress, right? So everything takes longer than it ever should. I, I'm kind of off 5e. I, I think 5e was, I think 5e is fine, but I, I'm just totally bored with the, the, the actual game mechanics of 5e. They're so fucking simple. And it's so, you get so forced into these builds that are boring because of just how the combat system works if you want to min-max it all. So, GURPS is 96. Well, maybe it won't be GURPS then, we'll see. Do I recommend this game? The game of chat or the game of love? Which game are you talking about? The Game of Life, no, not recommended. Uh, Battletech is, um, the base game is okay. The mod, the, the overhaul mod has made this a lot more fun for me. All right, um, okay. Do we just keep pumping accuracy here? 
We do need someone with Warlord. But I would like to get a number of Phantom Mech pilots going. Oh, we have to rename this this dude too. This is um is it real Canadian dollars? Please. Doesn't fit. Um Canadian dollars. I think we'll just do it that way. That could be like a expression. Go. Set to go. Canadian dollars, please. Please. See? See how we use that in a, in a sentence? Yeah. That's to help with uh, understanding. My brother was just complaining, literally just complaining to me last night about Canadian dollars. Which is fair. I feel his pain. From afar. Make the mechs shoot maple syrup. We don't have a uh, fluid gun right now. But I believe maple syrup is certainly one of the options that is uh, part of the Goose Game customization mod. Hello, Pen Pen. Yeah, we got to make a decision here. This decision is extremely not impactful to the rest of our lives, but we should spend at least 10 to 20 minutes thinking about it. Are you with me? If your answer is no, I don't know what to say. Thirsty Work has a promotion available. Are we going with this? Are we going with this? Kind of don't like this build, but having another one for this build could be okay. Um, how many current... One heart, one mind is going that build. Okay, so this is... All right, this build is... Okay. Okay, hold on, chat. Hold the fuck on. Why would I ever build it that way? Oh, we've already made this decision. I just didn't realize we'd made that decision. Why would I do this? Okay, this is, um, let's set this up. Okay, okay, we got this, we got this. Okay. This is, um, Warlord. And this one's Warlord too. Okay. Um... So that's easily solved. Warlord. Warlord. That means the other ones are not so easily solved. Ah, dude, this one needs to be respec. Respect me. Dude, seriously, respec. Okay. And this is gonna be a this is gonna be a phantom. Nice. And that probably means thirsty work wants to be built towards phantom as well, which means we need to get a uh, tactician in. All right, anyone hyped for tomorrow's stream? I'm super fucking hyped about tomorrow's stream. I love getting my wife drunk on stream. Super fun, super fun. She does, she's not so good about filtering and it's been not embarrassing in the past. It's just been, I'm always like, are you sure you wanna share that with the general fucking populace woman? Are you certain that's what you wanna say? In a medium that can never be removed from the world? But she, uh, she likes people more than I like people. Thank you, Mimi, for the 13 months. No filter, best filter? Maybe. All right, so we're moving up to, to this one. We're trying to get uh, Tactician taken care of so then we can move into that and then raise Gunnery. This seems fine on Thirsty Work. All right, everybody else is leveled appropriately, so it's time to play the video game. Hey! Okay. You can apologize to her about the prison show. You should bring that up. I'm kind of curious what she'll say on stream. She tends to be tactful, which is not... I think tactful is... It has its place. But I'm not sure it has its place in streaming. You know? It's just really not where it needs to be. How drunk do you need to wait for to bring it up? I don't know, man. Maybe I'll wear a prison shirt tomorrow. It, the problem is it's it's been cold weather, so I just wear sweatshirts all fucking, all fucking day. Exactly. Not very content. It's also... um. I think it's overdone in society, Galvia. 
directness has a has a utility to it, you know? I don't want to take a half hour to say something that can be said in eight seconds. Six seconds if you're pushing it. All right, speaking of, let's pick a mission. I like the Dutch. I don't think I'm going to have to understand the Dutch. That's our biggest, biggest concern about the Dutch right now. Also, I think it's going to be weird to have be looking up at people. I don't do that a lot around here. Um, yeah, and that I, that was meant both ways. Uh, incomplete intelligence. What do we want to do here? They speak perfect English. Oh fuck. Um, two and a half star. I think is going to be pushing what we're doing. Seems fun. Pirate organization. Four of eighteen loot. Seems good. Dutch people are fun. Oh my god. We can't make broad sweeping generalizations about people. That's racist. Just so you know. The Dutch included. Um, where do we want to go with this? Xanabu and the Wolverine. Uh, Sir Orange. The inaccurate. No, it's not him. It's One Heart, One Mind. Canadian dollars. We have to bring Canadian dollars on this mission. Canadian dollars is in charge of the house size Gauss, which means totally wasted. All right, building towards phantom mech stuff. I think this is a good build for the, I think thirsty work level wouldn't be bad here. The hot rod. Maybe not, maybe on Sifu. Run this. Okay. Let's deploy. Sir Arange is currently happy and he is unstable, which means he switches around every day. Do we want to bring this into something else? We have Tactician too. Ah, all right, fine. We'll bring Arange. I want to level Thirsty, so see if we can sit back. Yeah. yeah. Basically, it's going to fucking cost an arm and a leg to repair this mech. It's going to be totally, totally inappropriate. We'll see. we'll see. Putting so much trust in the Canadian dollar is somewhat risky. Yes, we will be uh, underpaid and dissatisfied. But the pilot will get excellent free medical care at the end of it. A little tiger. Yeah, I'm trying to decide if I should up the cost of these fake internet points or not. They seem, it's a Twitch thing, right? So this was something we considered for the channel a million years ago, which is channel points. It was actually one of the things Keck suggested, like probably like two years ago. And I said, no, because there's nothing to fucking do with channel points. It makes no sense whatsoever. And then Twitch implemented them, uh, site wide and as best as i can tell outside of uh outside of music streamers i still don't really know what the fuck to do with them all right we have to kill this building this building has a lot of fixed turrets we don't have enough am Ooh, but there's enemies right in front of us fucking right all right do we have allies no <laughs> All right, so this is a two and a half star mission with no, oh, we do have allies. But why are they over here? I don't know, hopefully they can deal with the base turrets. We can definitely handle these guys in front of us. A couple of VTOLs. Got a mortar technical, an urban mech, a warrior, a warrior VTOL and a stealth rapier. Chat, this has the the pirate laser AMS that we want. I don't care if we fail the fucking mission. We're going to overheat this mech, force him to eject, and steal his laser. Does he have ammo on him? He's going to have ammo for that flamer. Yeah. And I even tried to pick channel point ones that made some sense for the channel. I just don't know that any of it matters eventually. Yeah. You still get loot if you fail. I don't know. 
This game is not, um, unlike some missions where failure is an option, some games where failure is an option, this game doesn't seem to reward fa failure very much. Unlike life, for example. I thought some of them would be good, like spending a bunch of points to get around moderation every once in a while seems like a halfway reasonable thing, right? Like, you know, Xanabu been impressing your shirt selection. Well, every so often you can fight back. Did you understand the beta for the new RTS patch? No, the alpha for the new RT patch is out. That's getting wiped like twice before it hits release and currently is not compatible with existing save files. So it would be an absolute fucking noob trap to go down that route right now. No, I don't think the points are entirely useless. Like I wish, I just wish there's, I don't know. I don't know. It's not that I, how do I say this? I think people being active and watching the streams would be great to give them some input that matters, but I don't really know how to fucking do that with channel points. Uh, what are we? Phase 13. We're still reserving down. We want all of these guys to move so they get their evasion pips gone, their drop evasion pips. Maybe the mech is good input, kind of. Yes, I do think um, that's been okay. It's been okay. Can't you give out the chat channel points? Can you give out the chat channel points? Uh, no. It's just it's just purely a uh, counting system. Control a mech or a unit for a turn. A, the implementation of that is going to be clunky as fuck. B, that's a terrible idea giving a chat direct control over strategies. We've tried this in the past. Even I've, I've never allowed that. I've even never allowed it for donations, right? You know, we, we've played around with that a bit with the dare drop stuff, which give, can incentivize me to do something which is inevitably stupid for the, the, the chance at money, monetary rewards. But even that, like, it's like with Civ, like there was a time when people were trying to like donate to like attack my neighbor. And I'm like, that's gonna tank the game and make the entire fucking stream unpleasant to watch as we end up in these stupid scenarios from you know, messing with it that way. So I don't think so. Exactly, Reindurv. Thank you for the the redeemed lore. I appreciate that. I think the lore one's been good. Yeah, but even if you weren't serious, Sirobaha, that's been suggested seriously before. Chat drafts to Slay the Fire Spire can be fun. Chat drafts in um, MTG Arena were terrible. All right. Phase 12, we are now beneath the helicopter phase, although still waiting on the urban mech and the mortar techs. It's one more reserve, annoyingly. Waiting for the chop. Is that thing punching me? <laughs> oh, you fool. All right. Channel points become cryptocurrency? Yes. The value of the filthy robot channel points is gonna explode for sure from totally worthless to entirely worthless. It'd be amazing. Hate that that hits me. I'm under heavy fire. <laughs> we should have named it the Canadian dollar, Galvia. I don't know if that would fit. Or maybe a Canadian dollar. All right. Can you buy a coffee with 16K? No inflation, sorry. You could have on day one. All right, so we have Xanabu for spine ripping. There is a vehicle, we could rip its spine out. It seems reasonable. Stealth max run up here and stealth somewhere, which is annoying. Uh, we wanna kill this helicopter for sure. All right, I think we start with stomping this vehicle. Or we could kill the urban mech. That looks pretty good. Uh, bring me its spine or don't come back. Out. Excellent. One for the scrap heap. God, I thought she was, I literally in my head, I heard her, she goes one four and I thought she was gonna say the spine god. And I'm like, holy shit, immersion. But no. 
All right. Um, Sir Orange up next. Uh, LRMs are pretty good. Or SRMs, rather, are pretty good for dealing with stupid helicopters. So that could be enjoyable. This is a f rear shot on the helicopter. Can literally shoot it in the ass. Feels pretty good. All right, we're going to do that. Do we want to waste heat missiles on it? How greedy can we get with heat missiles? Pretty fucking greedy. Let's go uh, Let's go for LKs on it. Okay. You know the best part of that was? Not only did we kill it, we caused a bunch of heat on this guy for firing his gun. Alright. Medium laser time. No, no. This is heavy gauss. This is the Canadian dollar. Um... All right, chat, what do you think? Will you show them the value of the Canadian dollar right here? He shouldn't be fortified in any way. Since he, yeah, we're just, okay. Yep, as per always, just a little bit less than you need it to be. Not quite capable of getting the value you want. Feels bad. A letdown, is what I'm saying. All right, we'll move up here. Thirsty work is our flamer. Do we believe we can go ahead of this guy? I mean, it's so close to being good. But I really would like to start getting fire on that guy. And I probably can if we sprint up there and barbecue. That seems more interesting to me than anything else. Including killing this thing. Clan Flamer with that minus of uh, minus ignoring a bone evasion pit, pretty nice. You know what we forgot to do? We forgot to turn on um, forgot to turn on our accuracy boost. Might have been good enough. All right. Every mech rolled a fourteen. We rolled eighteen and sixteen near it. Unfortunately, Thirsty Work rolled a 12, and Xanabu rolled a 13, because I would really like to use Xanabu to core this urban mech. So we're going to have to waste something. Canadian dollar again, probably. Okay. Actually, this has been a very nice spawn for us. With our allies over there taking all the fire from the base defenders and uh, turrets... It gives us a lot of time to cook the pirate uh, laser. Just gotta be careful we don't explode. What the fuck is that thing doing? A little bit for you, a little bit for you, a little bit for you. But how are the how are the, how are our allies almost dead though? What have they been doing? The Talos is out of armor and structure. The Hunchback is out of armor and structure. It's kind of impressive how quickly they died. All right, so we want to kill this. To do that, we need to shoot it in the center torso from the front. We don't want to use Gauss for that. All right, where's the front? Here. Okay. All right, let's turn on imaging. 94%. Turn the machine gun. Hey, we're gonna turn the fucking machine gun on too. Machine gunning. Begin. Perfect. Target neutralized. Okay. Core sixty. Yeah, that probably means it has something like a twenty uh, AC twenty on it or something insane, right? Our ally's gonna fall over. He's like LRM, LRM one to each of them. Okay. All right, Sir Orange, moving up with the spam. We can get better. No, we cannot. So as close as we can get. All right, that's fine. 
heat missiles. This should trigger A, a little bit of damage, and B, uh, his laser to fire off again. Oh, that's cute. You're flamering me. Alright, we need Xanabu to get her ass into gear. We've got things that needs to be despined. Be kind, despine, I believe is her working motto most of the time. Yeah, it's, that was a pretty good one, wasn't it, Chet? I'm impressed. It's really funny, really witty. Doesn't take an existing one and, you know, it's pretty good. Absolutely amazing. All right, sprint time. Do we want to get in range of all these turrets? I mean, no. Quick run over there. Receiving you. All right, did cause some heat here. I don't know what, oh, the lasers have found us. Could juke them by moving. Seems reasonable. Confirmed. Oh, I thought it was this one. Sure. Uh, cause heat. Yes. Mech shut down. Get out of my mech and give me that stealth system. Give me that pirate laser. Give me, give me, give me. I will wear your entrails like a hat, Zenobu says. No, no, no. Bad allies. They're trying to fuck it up for us. We do all the work, shut it down, and they just throw some LRMs from it. It's totally unacceptable. Talking about Zanbu he hasn't missed that much. But he talked a lot. Jesus Christ. I really hate that expression. I really want it out of my my lexicon here. I need a replacement. Either replacement expression. What is going on with this turn? I thought I killed all the VTOLs. Fucking A. We use fuck a lot in other contexts. No, I don't want another religious replacement. God damn it has the same problem, Zinabu. Still a religious reference. Right? That's that's what I'm saying. Like it's so ingrained in just part of that that process. Even damn is short for that, right? Damn is short for god damn it. Yep. It's either procreation or religion. Or it's not, it's, it's like either like attacks on sexuality or religion are like the, the go-tos. Ancestry seems like a fun one.
This is a phase... You know what, chat? This is bullshit. This is a phase one bug. I didn't notice till now. I thought we were dealing with a stupid... Come on. Come on. This is the worst bug. Ally dies. Game fucking bugs. No, it's it's this is the worst bug. Nothing solves this. We can end mission by winning, but like that's we're so early in this mission, there's no way we're doing that. Too bad we're gonna get ourselves a pirate fucking AMS laser. This guy is already heat shut down in a place where we can keep hitting him with heat without killing him. Feels fucking bad. Feels real bad. But we're not, the new patch is not playable yet. I mean, it's like half, it's, I don't know how to describe this. It's kind of frustrating for me, the timing release on that. Like, there's no way you get enough progress in that campaign to do anything with that. And I don't think we can afford to do another Battle Brothers campaign on this channel, honest, or Battle Tech campaign on this, uh, on this channel. I'm enjoying the hell out of it, but it's just, not enough people are enjoying the hell out of it. forever yeah this is um the hype in the channel for this will be a little bit of selection bias there you can't run that mission again either because although you can eventually run the mission again if you run it back to back like that it seems to keep the bug there i don't know i don't know exactly what causes it it's something to do with an ally dying bollocks Come on, chat. This is this is something we should be able to crowdsource, right? This is this is this is the epitome of crowdsource wisdom. Good curses, insults, complaints, good ways to bitch. Fiddlesticks? Fuck no. No, I'm not looking. I had a dated a girl for a little bit who would do things like that. Do little clever like things that rhymed with swear words but weren't swear words. Like, um, the hell were they? There was one that was something about closing the door or something like that. What the hell was it? God, they're li these little like annoying, cute ways to like say things that aren't swearing, which always felt to me like totally, yeah, shut the front door or something, you know, like this kind of shit. And I'm just like, are you kidding me with those words right now? I mean, it was unrelated that we broke up, but it could have been related if that had gone on much longer. Um, Alright, I guess we're not taking in complete intelligence, even though I'd like to. We can do destroy the base in the highlands instead of destroy the base in the city. It's the same difficulty, same risk for us, but pays less, giving us less salvage. Always exciting. Cockney rhyming slang. Yeah, I don't know a lot about that. It sounds bold. We could get a we could get a rep up for Greater Valkyrie at here. Get a faction change, which would be nice, or a rep change would be nice. Okay. All right. Uh, we can run these people with these mechs. We're ready to go. We're just ready to not get bugged out of our thing. Okay. Fracking. That's just a network workaround for uh, fucking. 
how rough are we going? I would like general use. I don't mind uh, an eyebrow being raised from time to time. Fuck nuggets. That sounds silly to me, right? Like. Baw bag, don't know that one. What does baw bag mean? Yes, what I'll do is every time I don't know one, I'll repeat it on stream loudly, maybe a couple times, and ask for an explanation after. This can't go wrong. All right, so we landed again. This time, no allied support, same difficulty mission, no and a convenient enemy lance directly in front of us to murder. Feels bad. Okay. Commander. Feels real bad. Waiting for my opening. Standing by. All right, we're not going to send the Canadian dollar in first. You. No staying power. Uh, we'll go with uh, Xanabu first. I copy. Okay. Orders. All right. On a plus note, because we're not in the downtown map, the the, the transitions are a lot smoother. And granted, I am fast forwarding through the animations to take, uh, make our, make this happen a little bit more reasonably. Okay. We've got an unknown on sensors. That's not an unknown. That's a cicada. Is this is this saturation style attacking again? All right. Uh, who is this? This is our SRM's uh, master tactician ace pilot. Can we get in range? We can get in range to dump our entire load on them. Uh, not part of the insult questioning thing. Do we want to get in range of the base turrets? Unknown. What's reserve? Sandabu going next is pretty good. Can't get in melee range there. But I'm okay doing something like this. Get a look-see what's over there. All the way up. All the way up. All right. Couple more contacts. Um, that's a 20-ton mech. Excuse me, game. Could you standardize your difficulty a little bit more so maybe it was reflected in the screen where I choose that shit? We're moving planets today if this is what they're throwing me at two and a half stars. range to burn it. I'm not sure it really helps anything. But I do not want to reserve on this character, so maybe. Ooh, ugly spot. It's a bit better. I don't know. That's a bit better. Double time, let's go. Ding ding ding. Bet you it's friendly dings. No, I'm not shooting that. Twenty percent on a flamer it doesn't fucking do anything. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, you're just armored. Oh, why? No, you showed up after? Oh, debated. I would have happily flamered that fucking thing. Meleeing Xanabu. Oh, don't start with me, Hornet. This is going to be a short-lived short -lived competition. Merc. Standing by. Now we could walk up here and execute this thing. I don't want to fire with the enemy behind it, but firing there is okay. Question is, is this unit worth a heavy gauss shot? Confirmed. 
It's currently in cover. What? No sensor info? What kind of scrub pilot are you? Fucking Canadian dollar failing me again. Probably I just execute this stupid thing, right? I was gonna kill that, but now probably won't kill it. I might as well just get this shot. This shot's much better. Okay. Round one, no sensors. That's right. No, this is round two though. We do have sensors. We already did a round one, so that's not it. So not right. I take it back. Absolutely wrong. This guy's got sensor lock. Not a scrub, that's why. Pretty sure we just got serious AMS coverage from those turrets. Okay. Use jet? Correct. Just got tag barraged. And again, double tag barraged. Well, Xanabu is going to be fine. She'll heal through that. Although she's panicked. What's not going to be okay is uh, the little guy. That was double enemy tag barrage. I hate that this thing went after us the first round and then before us the second round. That combination is so nasty. And you're going before us as well. That was a great set of rolls for you guys, wasn't it? Alright. Did we get sensor locks this time? Idiot. Alright. Uh, behind them would be nice. Anything downrange? I think executing the cicada makes a lot of sense right now. Ready for orders. Can I get behind them both? I can. Looks decent. Yeah, but I, I don't want to shoot my own guy. Okay, let's go there. Alright, are we active on this? We are. I mean, all right, I guess. Waiting for orders. All right. Could kill this thing, but I think better to kill that thing. Double tag barrage opening. Sure, sure game, sure. Flames along the way, not really where I'm gonna be. I'm a bit worried about the amount of, you know, I'm not sure. The coverage might be too high with that thing if we go close. Maybe we do just flank this thing and shoot it to death with missiles. Could even melee it. Can it defend against the melee attack? 74% chance to hit. Uh, we'll do 29 damage. It will survive that, annoyingly. Okay. I think you've are. Quitters never win. Alright, I guess we're killing it. Why are we killing it? I don't know. Less than three big tech. Cheers for the resub. Five months, welcome back. Alright, missiles, missiles. Actually survived because of the AMS. Thirteen of eighteen taken out by their their AMS coverage, which is crazy. 
All right, um, this is a good unit to kill this with. We gotta get out of this location. That seems pretty good. Flames on the way sucks. Might overheat doing this. And we actually give missile range to that. It's a bit scary. Uh, are we on fire right now? No. So we can actually jump to avoid that. Don't hate that. Minus elevation kind of sucks. I don't want direct LOS on this thing. I think this thing's packing, um, it's packing a ton of missiles, but I don't know what type exactly. That's pretty good though. No LOS on that. All right. Not quite good enough, unfortunately. Uh, just moved into sight. <sighs> okay. I'm heat, heat missiles that also fucking destabilize us is fairly bad news. Uh, I think worth killing this. Flames along the way, unfortunately. Back facing is a little bit awkward. If it's that or do nothing, fuck do nothing. I think this heavy rain would put this fire out, huh? Maybe not. Maybe it's a chemical fire. Okay. Yes, Commander. All right, we took um, damage on this arm, and we are overheating rather rapidly. Kind of be nice to get out of here. Flames on the way, never helpful. Maybe something like there with shutting down, with a jump. Uh, rotate, show right arm. Get a little closer, I guess. I don't want to be LOS accidentally though. All right. Yep, we're gonna overheat if we're not careful there. Okay. Ready for orders. All right, our SRMs where we want to be right now. I think not. Oh, we got this guy. That's a lie. We're happy to kill this guy. Will we kill him with this? I think we will, even with the amount of AMS they're running. Negative damage. Nope. Eighteen of eighteen. Feels bad. Yeah. Could have meleeed him. All right, the Canadian dollar. Worth anything in this situation? Tough to say. Does he have any armor left? No, if we shoot him anywhere, he just blows up. That's probably fine. Can we shoot him? Oh, we can't shoot him though. We get somewhere and shoot him. Somewhere useful. It's maybe okay, but it's not optimal. It's too much rotation. Kind of annoying. We can't see and shoot. All right. Let's turn this heavy Gauss off. Give him some laser pew 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 pew. Great. Alright. Xanabu. Seems to be up for despining this vehicle. How much health does it have from the front? Alright. 
Can we fuck ourselves from attacking from the front? She does 113 with 50% extra damage on that. So another 55 about added 56, I guess. So we're doing 100 and what did I say? 56, 169 damage. Front armor is some question of 56 and 69, about half of that. Yeah, we're fine. So that's the preferred direction. Okay. It's only a 69% chance to kill. Nice. Okay. Stressed? Fucking pull it together. I'm showing minor damage. You're a tank. You can't just be stressed every time someone looks at you. Panic. Come on. Dude, three hits? Full armor? Instead, down to panic? Why? How do we combat that? That's not a stat we can we can mess with. If they're just going to be bitches every single fucking time. But you can't have that in a game. Like, if our character ejects from a full health fucking mech because someone looked at them. Receiving you. That's ridiculous. All right, we can get close enough to put turrets on board this, but I'm not sure it will help. Or uh, damage on turrets. It's an AMS. Yes, Commander. Does Pilot have a trait that affects that? I don't think so. Don't really want to be unstable, but maybe the run is worth it. We run this way, we can run that way, but it's not optimal. That's optimal range. That's not optimal range. Doesn't matter. So medium range either way. Guess I take the position like that. No stability hit, cover. Okay. Roger. All right, all the missiles can see us. This one's running ECM apparently. I wonder if we can heat it up and get this stuff. They're all running ECM. And actually we know they're pretty anti-missile too right now. I'm not sure it makes any difference to firing this missile then. Okay. Good to go. All right. I'd like to insert a large Gauss rifle down their throat. Probably can't stream that though. Um, to here maybe? Unstable. Maybe to here. Looks fine. Okay. Got it. Oh, you read that as violence? Huh. Okay. Um, I think they're fortified in any way. 46%? You quit that shit right now. I can't multi-target either because stealth. Say shoot someone down the throat. All right, let's take the shot. Yes, perfect, perfect Canadian dollar. Well done. Uh huh. Negative value. Got it. All right, I can't do anything to these guys, right? Because I can't melee turrets for some unknown. Oh, I can melee this turret. It says. I thought I couldn't melee turrets. Right, we want to move, rotate, show right side, but not left side. And then we want to shut down or uh, cool down again. Okay. Enemy structure is weakening. They shot themselves. Great. Is Zanabu going to eject from that? Not yet.
Okay, that's really scary. That did a fuck ton of damage. Okay, improved morale, good. I don't think we can do anything with this mech. I don't want to take any more hits like that on this mech either. This is probably a go hide. I can wait on it though. All right, Canadian dollar. 71% there, 59. It's a pretty big reduction. 65 though is interesting. Unfortunately, that is downrange. And I think I made a promise to myself never to fire the Gauss with allies downrange. We could wait, have Xanabu go melee that one now and shoot this one with the Gauss. I mean, 71% of the time we don't destroy our own mech. It's not even an optimal right now. I'm we'll just fucking brawl in like a goddamn champion. Which one is the one shooting us with those auto cannons? This thing? Energy, 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 ballistic. Missile, 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 energy, energy. Where's the fourth turret? Fourth turret's hidden. Okay. Ready for orders. Seems okay. All right. Oh, I can't multi-target. Fuck, I just did it again. Okay, we're shooting this one then. I think we missed again. You need dollar. I think pretty noticeably bad. All right, we want to kill this thing. Can we do it by moving and all? A little bit of evasion goes a long way. Did we just leave it at 9 health? Is that what I saw? Yep, sure did. Okay. Can we hide from any of these turrets? Not really. Can melee this. No cover there. How's the position actually look? Two turrets can see us. A little scary. Need that turret down though. Commander. 96% there. Okay. On my way. Proved unsettled. Good. Ready for orders. All right. Can we get in range, but not in range of the other turrets? Probably. Something like that looks like it LOSs kind of nicely. If we can kill that other turret, we could go there too. Perfect. Although we can't get another one in close. It's okay. Uh, right side, best side. No, that does not actually say that. Yeah, it does. Okay. I think that thing can see us if we go there, but sure it can. All right. Attack. 
Any left side? Left side is not really where I want to get shot. I'm really unexcited by the fact it's still alive with all of its turrets at like 10%. Ain't there, Stuart? Waiting for orders. Okay. I had some health indicator on it. Wait, why does it keep turning off when I turn on the ammo? Overload off machine gun, but it won't shoot. Weird. Okay. Firing on Just hit it for 40 and didn't kill it. Still up. That Seems literally game. fucking impossible, but sure. Fuck you. I'm in trouble. I can't take much more of this. I'm taking heavy hits, Commander. Just lost flamer ammo on somebody. Didn't lose the arm yet. That's good. <sighs> Stupid fucking thing. Did the turret die at least? They still have these ridiculous AMS systems up. Probing for tactical advantage. I mean, very unimpressed with our ability to kill turrets. All right, Canadian dollar has no shot here, but we can move. Presumably get one. There's no fire along the way. Point blanking this. It's not ideal, but all right. Okay. Does fire do damage other than add heat? Um, don't think so. Some the flamers do damage as well as add heat. 99%. Yes. It's much better. One less turret. Standing by. This is Xanabu. She should be tanking all the turrets for us. Do we currently not have LOS on the does turret gone? Did the turret die? How did that turret die? I don't believe you. Roger that. Hold in. Commander. Location confirmed. Yeah, that's what I thought. Didn't believe you at all. Still hit 11 of 18, which is one of four turrets up with AMS. Let's brawl it. Good damage. Didn't go. Weird. I don't want to kill buildings. Can we have Xanabu kill the turret for us? Ready for orders. Thanks. No, no 
no flames in the way, please. I could use Inferno here. That's a two and a half star. Uh, I think we're probably minimum two and a half stars now at the moment. Took a lot of damage. Those turrets were very heavy. I don't think we're gonna get shit for salvage out of that either, which sucks. Let's take a look. Lot. Damage taken, good experience. Hot rod got beat the fuck up. Uh, Hellstorm artillery. Is this what just hit us? Eighteen ton seven slot. So laser AMS, I'm excited by that. Remote sensor dispenser, tag barrage, two angel ECM, C three slave, Artemis four. Uh, a couple double heat sinks. No ammo requirement on a three salvage for us, so we don't have to worry about that shit. That's good. Um. Like Angel ECM. I think we decided we're not doing Tag Barrage this playthrough, so we probably should leave that. I'm looking at Laser AMS double um, double Guardian Angel ECM right now. With the potential nod towards the um, Hellstorm Artillery, because I think it was so... Eh, it's only 300k. Budget delivery. Fuck that. All right. Not interested in the Armored Cowl. Engine cores are okay. The FCS Artemis would be nice eventually. I'm hoping we just roll in one eventually. All right, confirm. Armored Cal, C3 Slave, both parts. Got the Artemis 4, it's very nice. And two engine cores, actually rolled very well. Got the heatsink double. We rolled nearly perfect, I think, on this. It's kind of nice. Okay. Nice. Travel plans, yeah, travel plans. I don't know if we can do it right this instant, but we should see. I don't remember what difficulty the system was. Why not tag? Because we're not using it this playthrough. It's been a, it's a the command decision. We found it very powerful, probably overpowered. It's getting nerfed next patch. I think we want to stay away from it. All right, eight days for repairs. Sucks. Action. The 24 Happy months, thank Friday, you. Filthy. Happy Friday to you as well. Flashpoint's nearby, it's definitely worth checking out. Don't know how to tell that though. Are the glowy shits flashpoints? Don't look like it. Don't look like it, none, sir. Blinking orbs. Yellow blinking. Something blinking on the screen that I can see. Looks south. One on the right side. On the arm going west. Chat. I clearly miss it. Oh, this thing. Oh, I mean, it's pretty close. 94 days. It expires in 76. 94 to get there. Could be good. Could be good. 
from the east as well, apparently. Let's find it. No. 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 Oh, this one's a one star. It expires in 132 days. It takes us 69 days and 500k to get there. I'm not going to a one star. Also, I think that was storyline. All right. I would have liked to have done that, but I don't think we are. So we're currently where? Currently, no. Nope. Currently here. This is a one and a half. So we're going to at least two, if not two and a half. A four. There's a three there. That maybe is doable. Pretty close, 15 days. Battlefield, high gravity, moons, pirate presence. It's 123% Lyran Commonwealth. Definitely not something I'm entirely certain about. Um, I think this way, what else could we go? One and a half, four star, one and a half, one and a half. We should just sort, huh? All right, fine. We want two and a half or above, right? So that one, oh, it is 53 days away. What? This one's not. This one's 16 days away. Controlled by the Commonwealth, which is not exactly what we want. Only factions active are these ones. Wish I could run multiple filters. Six days, 16 days, Arctic world. Not going to help our heat stuff particularly, but maybe. Current control, Elysian fields. We kind of have a little bit of rep with them, not a ton. Or there. 17 days, 16 days. Poor primitive civilization. That doesn't sound great. Primitive civilization, token population, doesn't sound great. Kind of think the two and a half that was closer was a little bit better. 26. Martian poor, primitive token. <sighs> okay. What do you think, chat? Northwest? How long are we going to need? Well, we're a bit broke. We did just hit a rep level. Primitive is low tech, I think so. What's the repair time? Hot rods, four days. Four, three, two. We're not even that far for repairing. Could kick this up all the way. Gives us four, three, two is nine. Nine days till we're uh, ready again to play. If we take a five day fit on the Dervish, that works out pretty well. I don't know if we have the weapon systems for it. What do we have for garbage? Well, the Hornet's garbage. Do we have any mediums we can build? Four of five on the Phoenix Hawk, but not five of five. I don't really want a blackjack. Give you usurper. Usurpator, excuse me, for the seven months. Um, okay. Heavies. Not all that much to sell. 28 days, so we got to pay everybody. Three days on the Argo upgrade. Both of those kind of a pain for costs. Uh, what are we? Re what's remaining in this system in terms of missions? Well, that was a two and a half. Two and a half may be okay. Do another one here. There's an ambush convoy there. Robbery for a million and four. That seems okay. Probably hang on here a little bit longer. 
in which case we want to do this slightly differently. Just gonna knock this down again. Four, three, two, sure. Yeah, assassinations have been good, but we upped our power level quite a bit with the uh, the house-sized gauss we're running. All right, so we're moving time forward. We're gonna invest in another Argo upgrade, and then we're gonna try to get out of this planet soon. We're gonna take the rest of the higher tier missions on this available, but they, these are the max max available tiers on this one are two and a half. So probably don't want to stay here too much longer. Let's run it forward. Last one did plenty of damage to us though. Uh what did we just learn though, mech bay wise? We just got something that was interesting. We'd love to get Bay 3 going, but Bay 3 is expensive. This thing has been fucking good, by the way. Oh, we picked up some Angel ECM, which we wouldn't mind running. This might be a better replacement for the Guardian on Xanabu. It does drop her defense by one, but she tends to be pretty balls deep with uh, her positioning. So this is running a pretty big jammer bubble on the enemy team, which is really nice. Weighs two tons. I think the mech has a little bit of weight. Yeah, we can get half a ton out of that. I'm pretty unexcited by this chap launcher, by the way. I don't like, I almost never use it. And the Artemis 4 picking that up right now is super helpful for the new mech we just picked up. We can actually build an LRM Artemis thing on it, I think. Okay. Use the dampen on the void system. I don't think I can. I don't think I have the torso fitting for it. What's the timing to get this in? Uh -oh, not enough free slots. Is that because it runs here? Four plus four. It's on the sides though, right? Needs eight. We have more on the mech, so it's the issue with the stuff being in the way. Armor's too big. Okay, we'll have to get a different uh, gyro then. It's good to know. So let's pull this shit off. We're never using it anyways. I'll uh, swap the Guardian ECM for Angel ECM on Xanabu. Put it on that chest piece, I guess. Does Gyro fit now? No. Needs mid slots. We don't have mid slots for it. Okay. Could run the laser AMS. We already have an AMS on the, the which mech, though. We were doing something with this. What was it? Oh, we were gonna try to future-proof it a little bit for... Could run a slave aura on it, isn't terrible. You can stack AMS? Huh. Find jump jets mainly useful. It's more a matter of that. It's more of an issue of the fact that you can't run no jump jets because there's certain missions that will spawn you in locations where you can't move from. you could stack AMS. I really wish I had one of the... I need that la that large laser AMS on this thing so it can fucking cover for other people. Just adding an increased defensive defensiveness on this one doesn't seem that useful. And the weight of the non-laser is 1.5, right? And the weight of the laser is 1. Is that correct? Or is that a lie? Told to scrubs across the world. No, it's equal. When I overload, it just eats more, right? Never protects the never protects the lance, though. I don't think. Armored cow on the Wolverine. Guts is which one? It's piloting we want, right? Seems unnecessary. Does that have any downsides? Nope. Fine. I don't really 
just want to, I mean, I kind of want to spread the AMSs out a bit more than this. The question is, do we run AMS anybody else? No, we don't have any support machine guns. We do have support lasers. I think this can fit one support laser. 10 damage. But it can go in support lasers, right? Can we run three? Oh, that's more interesting. Oh, I see. Drop the AMS entirely and run three of these. Oh, 30 damage. I don't really like giving up the laser, the, the AMS entirely. can use the laser drill in the claws. Yeah, the hardened pharaoh is really good. That's halfway reasonable. All right, so let's think about that. So this changes dropping the LRMs, swapping the, guardi the Guardian for the Angel, adding a C3 Slave for no particular reason, just because we have one floating around, removing the AMS for three micro clan lasers. I don't know why you would ever want an ER small laser support laser. It seems insane, but um, sure. But the other thing I wanted to check was the the talk about the melee weapon in the store i don't really want to buy stuff right now but if we can fit a melee weapon what does it do weighs three tons takes three slots takes a support slot 10 times three damage can fire when making a melee attack plus one accuracy times three bonus damage against overheating targets weapon damage variants five additional melee heat damage Multi-shot lasers fire barrage of laser beams. Support energy melee weapon. 208k for this piece of fucking hot garbage. Do we want it? Can't even fit it. Doesn't seem very exciting to me, chat. Doesn't add melee damage either, which I was thinking it might do. Yeah, I think that's probably hot garbage right now. Okay. So what is our actual timing on the task? 432. Uh this is Six, we have three days is what we can work on this for if we want to get going on another mission, which we absolutely do. So can we refit uh, the Wolverine in three days to support the new stuff? I think we can. All right, so AMS off. Chaff off. Um, weapons, lasers, tiny micro lasers on. It's two days. Guardian probe off. Enhanced ECM on. Six slots taken. One, two, three, four, six slots taken. Five slots taken here. Okay, three days. That's what we had was three or we had four? Three. So anything here that doesn't push this over is okay. Still three. Um, can run armored cow, but it's really uninteresting. 
Still three. Can run. These aren't machine guns, right? These are lasers. What else did we run for this C3 slave? This was all we did. How did it take more than three days last time? Oh, we put the armored cal on already. Okay, do that. Add two jump jets. Do we want to add two jump jets? Pretty unexcited about adding jump jets, but let's see what it costs us to do it. Four days. Fuck that. Absolutely not. All right. Alien lasers are for style. No, I think they're good. Getting some things that can crit after you've punched them is fine. I don't think we have much in the way of support systems. Can't fit the laser AMS. They take the same spots as the lasers. This is probably okay. Uh, the other question would be any types of missiles that we'd want to run. I think the answer is no. All right. Confirm. Confirm. Uh, we're gonna what we eventually want to do with this thing is we eventually want to um, put in the how do I say this we want to put in a uh, more melee systems is what we're gonna do with that weight and we got to find a gyro that will fit that seems fine let's run time for it at least three days we're gonna have the Argo upgrade in a minute should be able to just not touch it for three days then okay All right. Ooh, almost fucked that up, didn't I? That's three days and that's three days. So that's fine still. Okay. May have actually fucked it up. I don't remember making progress on the dervish. Um, we need to do an Argo upgrade. Uh, what do we pay for? We paid for mech recreation, most basically because we can't afford a third bay right now, even though we would really like one. 1 1.85 and two tech. Maybe we can. Can we afford this? We're pretty low on parts to sell. We'd have to sell to get it, and then we'd have to make 700k. Yeah, I think you've I've enjoyed it a lot too. Thank you, Angamar, for the gifted Never subs. Been. Welcome, Flippomaniacs, Wild Boy, Wild Boys, Selgood, Corsi, Khan, and uh, Catalix. Thank you, Angamar, for the support. I would really like third mech bay, but it's a big upgrade, up cost upgrade. New subscriber we can build support systems at cheaper stuff. Morale actually seems relevant right now. We can also start building towards drop size. I mean, this is expensive. From the stage coach. Very expensive. If we invest in this, we're not going to be able to invest in that anytime soon. Maybe we keep, just keep two bays. Actually, it doesn't seem like tech time is... Another poor fool Could run some just cash missions, too. Space. I get something sick, uh, cheap until we travel. What's the cost on this? 18 days. Uh, our modest fellowship expands. 20 days, Praise 450. Tech and morale. The two tech points is nice. Oh, it's one tech point. The one tech point's not all that nice. 200 for 15. Get faster drive system gives us tech points. 360 for 10. I don't hate the the jump the travel time. It's kind of interesting. And the habitat pod was interesting too. Pick up more mech warriors. We're gonna want that as soon as we get drop size upgrade. We need money. Let's do uh, drive size right now. Okay, um, we got three days to run here. I don't know if morale affects panicking. Probably does. How would brushing my teeth help with your small size, Kush? Uh, two, one, one. One more? Okay. All right, we're ready to go. Let's do it. Mission ready. I'll get the pubes out. It's not going to help, man. I don't think. Don't want to go to the store. I don't want to click that. No! Mission time. Let's do it. Let's take uh, robbery. 418. 
Target the pirate organization to steal their shit. Seems good. Got our mechs ready. We can run the same team. Still running Canadian dollars in the house size Gauss. 2,000 experience, so we might actually have a little bit of um, stuff to assign. Uh, yeah, sure do. Excellent. Accuracy seems good and recoil penalty, which is nice. Going for Warlord. Xanabu. Nothing. One heart, one mind. Nothing. Also a Warlord. Also a Warlord. Secret gaming, don't know. Syringe. Going for this. What's that for? I want six, right? So I want one more here, then I want that. And thirsty work is going for Phantom. So we want this one. It's actually a pretty big one. Okay. All right. Is that it? I think that was it for levels. Let's take the mission. Ah, Sphinx is back in. All right. Could do that. Do you want me to put the second N in, second eyes, eyes, eyes? I guess I should, since it's your fucking name, shouldn't I? All right. It's P H I I N N X. Done. Yeah. I miss my AMSs. We want to install them. The fact we're not using two AMSs right now is not where I want to be. But we don't have to, um, we don't have we don't have bay time right now. We'll get bay time when we come out of this mission. So. Yeah. You don't care? Okay. Then next time I'll just type it regularly. I always assume when that people have uh, weird spellings of names that they're trying to get the name, but it wasn't available on Twitch when they went for it. That's what I always assume. Uh, okay. Why is this wounded? Oh, you know why it's fucking wounded? They're not going to let me launch with it. It's that stupid bug when you repair damaged parts. Doesn't take any days, though, so I guess it's okay. Wait, what? They have to be mounted on support slots to fire in melee? Does that mean the our our support lasers that we just put in the laser slots won't fire in melee? Just could not figure that out, Zanbu. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Alright, we're running the same group again? No, my head one is not. The head one is not in a support slot. The head one is in a laser slot. So will that one not fire? Okay. Launching. I was supposed to say getting alcohol, but no, getting coffee. Back in a second.
initiated. Roger that. Standing by. Well, I thought we launched with allies, but we didn't. I thought I saw a million, like, sensor things there. Oh, there's allies. Yeah, okay. Good to go. Yes, Commander. So we want to get in between them if we can. Pump right up in case there's any more tag barrages. Understood. Moving fast. Waiting for orders. And just being over this way seems okay. As long as we don't get roadblocked by allies. Okay. There is a mask in the planet shop, correct? But it's not a clan mask. Hoping to get a clan mask. What are Xanabu's traits? She's got um, whatever the warrior trait is that lets you not get fatigued as much, and that's been really good. I got a sensor trait. Insomnia, yeah, that's the one. Standing by. It's a real chance this round we can get in melee range. Is there? Probably if we wait on the vehicles. Gotta get sight though for that. We have an allied helicopter. It sounds awful. I also really can't afford to be buying stuff out of shops at the moment. This seems very unlikely. We need somebody else who can tank to get up there. So probably we need other Sphinx or Sorange in there right now. Okay, enemy chameleon. Don't know a chameleon. It's gonna be open to a lot of fire if we just sprint around the corner. Guess we're hoping to wait till after the vehicles move. I want them to pop their heads around the corner so I can run over and melee them. Our tanking our uh, stuff for next round though. Alright, enemy vehicles there. Okay, what was that? 45 tonner? No, it's a hunchback. It's 50 ton. Haven't seen any vehicles. I don't think I'm waiting below 9 here. is like overheat i don't probably the hooded cow should be in anything except the one we put it in i mean it is a cockpit enhancement i 
but I think one of the other pilots doesn't have a cockpit enhancement. Maybe the... Um... So we've got enhanced imaging on the... the house-sized Gauss. Spin around this corner. Primary target on screen, command. Yeah. Ready for orders. No vehicles. Well, the vehicles are back there. Wow, heavy carrier, 80 ton. Rhino's fire support tank, 80 ton. These are 80 ton missile platforms. Fuck. Remember when we took off our AMS, like scrubs? I remember. Filthy remembers. All right, where are we gonna get so we can do something about that? Roger that, full speed. Orders. All right, this next round is going to suck, especially since those big ones probably haven't gone. Oh, they had gone, though. Okay, so this is new round. Phase 22 is apparently a flanking cicada. Running at a million miles an hour. 21 is this chameleon. Million sounded interesting. Mostly because I don't know what it is. We have some hunchback parts though. Another hunchback part or two might be relevant. There's four of these fucking vehicles. 60 ton tank, an 80 ton tank, and a fucking 80 ton heavy carrier. Gotta get the heavy carrier down. Ooh, it just overheated massively. Seems like a good start. Commander. Too bad I can't shoot it with missiles first. This is a tactician that we can reserve once here. Try not to make Orange be the primary target for these stupid vehicles. All right, no boot time. I uh, also want to reserve, I'm waiting on those vehicles to come closer. I'd like to try to attack the spine of one of those vehicles. Thunderbolt 15, I don't know what the Sabot rounds do. LRM 20 Delta Swarm, LRM 20 Delta Swarm, okay. Chameleon is nothing of value. Still a good position for us to attack with our heat boats. Like the flamer like really needs to hide a lot of the times. Some bots AP is terrifying. What do we just see on it? Small laser, small laser, small laser, small laser, medium, medium, large, MGs. Go. Okay. This is actually really good. This is all their vehicles going. Might be able to. Uh, oh, no, we're not quite in range apparently to get into the, that one. Shoot them with our micro pulses. Feel our wrath. Begin. Copy that. Stressed first shot every single fucking round. Come on.
It feels really bad when we get stressed every round for no reason. 82, per no, 54. You rolling a 54? You rolling a 60? Probably. I also like the urban maps in terms of their tactics. I like the look of some of the other ones. I like the performance of some of the other ones, but I like the amount of stuff. Yeah, the Heavy Gauss has been pretty good. Much better than that artillery we picked up last campaign. They want to hide. I'd like to hide from those vehicles as much as possible while still moving. Don't really want to shoot in the front, but I guess it doesn't matter. That's pretty nice. Alright. Fifty percent, you say. to 19 goes ahead of both of us gets to actually alpha one of these guys in the back which is really quite bad hunchback we don't know what he rolled cicada's behind us as well okay really didn't need the double flanking shots goes okay not shooting though it's fine should be able to push it out of this thing now uh flamer seems like the best option for that basically there it's not in all right Fifteen heat? Really? With four flamers? Seems fucking terrible. <laughs> 